Okay, this is the results of the GPS speed runs I did with the GTR 349. I did a video on installing a GPS to this uh, drone uh, a little while ago. I'll put a card in the corner, link in the description for that. Uh, a few notes about this method of doing speed runs. Um, for some reason, the max throttle value on here, I can't get it to go above like 90%, at least I'm showing on the OSD and uh, I'm not sure why that is. I am going all the way up to the max throttle. Uh, here's the top speed here at 108 uh, miles per hour. You can see that there's a delay because I've dropped the throttle. It looks like the throttle value is more real time and then the speed that's coming through the GPS is delayed a little bit. So I've already actually turned around at that point and uh, dropped the throttle down. I see it's like 36% and then uh, it shows you the max speed. That was the max speed that I've obtained uh, during my speed runs, at least at this location. And another thing to note here on the video breakup, it has to do with where the VTX antenna is um, and where the GPS is. And when I'm going at full speed, as uh, tilted the quad as far forward as possible, the GPS is in the position uh, directly blocking the video signal. Uh, so I either need to move the GPS somewhere else or as you'll see later on uh, and, and I'll do some more runs where I'm going towards myself instead of away from myself so the video is actually better in those runs. I think, I think the top speed in those runs are like 106 miles per hour so maybe a little bit of wind might be a factor there. Um, but yeah, th there's obviously, you know, some limitations here in terms of accuracy. I believe that these numbers are pretty accurate, it's just that the what they're showing on the screen is a little delayed from real time. So the video is coming through real time, but I think the information is coming through on the OSD a little bit later. Um, and then for whatever reason, even though I'm at max throttle, now you can see there on max throttle, it's like only going like 91%. I don't understand why that is, and I have my, um, that throttle channel um, endpoints set properly, so it is at 2000. Uh, at max throttle. I double check that. That is absolutely working. So I don't really know why it, it only goes up to 90% uh, while I'm flying. Uh, I've done it on the bench and you know with with the copter not armed it does go to 100%. So for some reason it you must have it must you must you must have to keep the throttle at 100% for a pretty long time it seems like before it actually registers in OSD. So that, the, the throttle value in the OSD might be, I don't know, I'm thinking maybe also delayed or there's some sort of, yeah, you need to, it needs to be at that position for a certain amount of time for it to register on the OSD at that value. So I'm, I'm taking the throttle values also with a little bit of you know, grain of salt there because it's like, uh, you know, I don't think that's also 100% real time either. Uh, but I'm pretty sure the speed reading is accurate. So if you just look for the proper frame at the max value that comes out, I'm thinking that that's probably accurate and you know if there was a higher value that doesn't show up I would kind of wonder why that would be the case uh, you know if for whatever reason like that frame is lost or whatever but um, yeah another, another downside is, is you have to have a really large area this is like several soccer fields and I'm going all the way across diagonally to reach that maximum speed and I can't you know I, obviously I can keep the throttle going and go further away uh, to try and hold that speed, but you can see the, the battery voltage just sags as you, as I go over like, you know, uh, whatever, 50, 60% throttle, it just, the voltage just drops off really quick. And I can only do a few of these runs before the battery is pretty much dead. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this testing. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.